Hey, in this video, I will show you how you can transform your desktop from start to finish. If this is how your desktop looks now, this is how it will look like at the end of this video. And because of that, make sure that you keep watching. First, let's address the customization thing with the taskbar. I will open my web browser and search for the translucent TB. Here, I will navigate to this page on GitHub. And keep in mind that I will also leave every single program used in this video linked in the video description right below the like button by the way. Now once here I will navigate here to the releases page and here I will scroll down until I find this assets here. I will click on the app installer and I should get this application. I will click here on the downloads folder and double left click on this translucent TB application. Now you should see this pop up and here I will click on install and after installation you should see welcome screen. Here I will just click on continue and then you can also see new icon of translucent TB in your system tray. Now before we customize taskbar with the translucent TB I will have to change the wallpaper and I will go with this one which I got from my store and you guys can check it out by clicking the first link in the video description and that way you also get to support the channel by the way which is really appreciated. So here I have this wallpaper I will click here set as desktop background I'll go here to the system tray. I'll go to the translucent TB and here make sure that you follow very, very closely. Here under the desktop option, I will go here to the acrylic one. And you can see that we have this kind of dark color for our taskbar at the moment. So here you will navigate back to translucent TB, click on the desktop and here make sure that you select the accent color. Here I will select the white color and I will here increase this value to something like here. So we have more transparent taskbar nonetheless. So here I'll click on this check mark and this is pretty much it. Now additional thing is that I will go here to the taskbar settings and I will move this taskbar everything to the left. So here under the taskbar behaviors I will select here to the left, but keep in mind that this is also personal preference where you would like to have the taskbar icons. As I mentioned, you guys can check out this wallpaper by clicking the first link in the video description below, and that way you also get to support the channel. So this is pretty much it for the taskbar. And one more thing for the translucent TB is that you guys have to actually have this option enabled, so open at boot. So whenever you guys will turn on your computer, taskbar will always look that way. Now let's move on to the widgets. So here on the web browser, I will search for rain meter. Let's go to this first page and I will click on this download button, click on save here and I will click here on the .exe file and here I will click on OK. Click on next and now I will click on the install right here. Now once this is done, I will click on finish and by the way, if you guys have some pre-installed widgets, you guys can just right click on them and click on remove widget. Here in the system tray, you will also find the rain meter icon and here you can see which skins I have currently installed. So this is not enough. Let's go straight to the web browser and here I will search for Monterey for the rain meter. And this is basically macOS inspired widget for the rain meter. Here on the GitHub page, I will navigate here to the releases page and I will click here on .rm skin file. So this is basically type of the file which rain meter actually supports. Here I will click on save and now I will click on this file to install. Here I will click on install, click yes on the admin prompt and if nothing happens you guys can just navigate here to the rain meter icon in the system tray, navigate here to the Monterey and here you will find settings.ini file. So here I will double left click on it and this should open this configuration window. Now under the appearance I will select this option which is called color and now we can go back here to the widgets and I will put on the weather widget as well as the notes widget and the calendar widget as well. So this is how the widgets actually look like at the moment and you guys can also go here to the appearance and change the widget size, widget padding and widget radius. I have mine set to these values right here and now once you have all these settings dialed in I will close this configuration 
second window and I will put calendar widget right below the weather widget just like so. I will right click on it and select here a wide option and I will do the same for the notes widget as well. So something like this and now I will go here to the weather widget and change the weather location to something else. I'll type in here London and make sure that you click on enter and click on save and now you should have the correct location for the weather. Now let's go here back to the web browser and let's search for the MII power rainmeter skin. Now I will go to this page but keep in mind that this page is full of ads so I highly recommend an ad blocker and here I will go to the downloads at the bottom. I will click on download right here and I will click on save. Now I will click on this file and click on the install. Now clearly nothing happens so we still need to go here to the rain meter in the system tray and here I will go to the MII power. I will click on power and I will select W which stands for white and B stands for black. So if you want the black version of the same widget you will double left click on the B version. Here I'll put it somewhere just like so at the bottom and now you can just click on this button and your computer will go to sleep. You can put it, click on this one, you can shut down your computer that way or you can even restart it just from a single widget which is really cool by the way. And now let's install the last widget which is from Jack Score. So here I will open another tab and search for Jack Score. Now we can go once again to the GitHub page and here I will once again navigate to the releases page and click on this .rm skin file. Here on top I will click on the installer and here I will click on the install. Here you can at the bottom click to skip the simple tutorial and here at the bottom you will click on library. Now once here I will install this widget which is called modular players. So just click on it and click on this green download arrow. You should see the installer which looks like this in the PowerShell by the way. And once you have this widget installed you can activate it by toggling this option on and here I will navigate to the general settings and here I will click on this option. So this is basically the style for this widget. Now here you can navigate to the media and make sure that you have here method set to modern and now at the bottom you'll also find style options. So here what I'll do I will decrease the size of the widget to 0.75 just like this and now for the blur variant I will leave it to the acrylic and I will enable the rounding to the standard. For the background color I will click here and I will insert here 255 times 3. So just like this and make sure to separate them with comma. And now you can click on enter and you should see that you have more of a white widget. And you can also disable this stroke if you want to here. This is pretty much it. I will place the widget somewhere here just like so. Now whenever you play let's say a video on YouTube or a music on Spotify you will see here the playback options. So this is pretty much it for this customization video. I hope you guys watched until the end and if you did make sure to just smash up the like button subscribe to the channel of course if you haven't already and you guys can check out this exact wallpaper by clicking the first link in the video description below that way you also get to support the channel and that is highly appreciated with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all in the next one